What's up everybody? Welcome to the ELO Challenge. This is episode 8. In the ELO Challenge, as most of you know, we're grinding our way from 700 ELO to 2000. We have gained about a, about 100 points over the last few episodes. We dipped far below 700, but now we're winning. We think we're playing better. We're at around 730, and we've got our eyes set on 800. We've been putting in the work. We're seeing tactics with a higher percentage. We're making fewer blunders. Still loads of mistakes, but I think at this level, we can pretty quickly, over the next few episodes, get to 800, and then 1,000 is within our sights. We're looking for 1,000. Once we get to 1,000, we just need a double, and we get our goal. We don't care how long it takes, maybe it takes a few years, but we are going to get 2,000 ELO. Thanks for checking this out. Thanks for being here with me. If you haven't subbed, please hit that sub button. We're looking to get 1,000 subs on Chess Wizard. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? And right now, we've got like 55 or something, so appreciate your support. And uh, let's crack straight into the first game. We're playing with white, and we're playing against a 7... 59 called trees branch from the United States now we're gonna go with a different opening uh, and defending strategy we're gonna go uh, Kings pawn and then the two knights uh, followed by the bishops we're gonna castle quickly we are gonna get the rooks to the middle um, and get our queen out and then we're gonna we're gonna go for it We've got a strategy, a more solid strategy than we've had in the past. And um, we're just going to follow it. We're going to go here as well. Something different to what we've been doing in the past, if we can. Uh, if we can't, we're just going to go here and get our bishop out. There are, there are quite a few things we're going to do differently. Also, if we can pin this, which it looks like uh, this bishop's m mucking up. But we're going to play this and then... Uh, there's a few different we're going to take here, and there's there's going to be some chaos we're going to cause. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. The first question, can we go here? Takes, 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 takes. Yes, we can. So we will. We're going to pre-move that take. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't do this, but we were expecting them to. They did. They did. What happened to the pre-move? We'll pre-move this one. We'll pre-move that one. Nope. Okay, castle. Fair, fair shout. Fair shout. Fair shout. Uh, we could do this and cause them to um, double their pawns, but let's keep the pressure on. No need to do that right now. Let's get this out. Let's develop. Um, hmm. We like this, uh, but the problem is they just play this and... Uh, if we take, oh, we could step back. We should have gone. We should have gone here and we should have stepped back if they had played that move. But that's okay. That is okay. Gonna castle. We're gonna castle as soon as we can. We've got a lot more control of the center here than our opponent. All right, queen out. Queen out. Let's go. Now we need to castle. Get our king to safety. And continue to control the center. Take, take. Blah, 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 blah. Our position is looking quite nice. We are now going to castle. We are going to continue with our strategy. All right. They are attacking our queen. It's not a problem though. We can do all sorts of things. We don't want to overthink it. We probably just step back. Um, is there any reason to go anywhere else? That's pretty aggressive. I don't know if I like it. They potentially win a pawn with a with a fancy queen trade if we go here. But then they can just push this pawn. We don't want to get our queen stuck. We're just nice and simple. Still protecting this pawn when we go back from this knight. This is not a problem. This is something we want to do soon to give our king an escape square. So there's no risk later on in the game of us being back rank mated. I really should have originally moved this. Um, I'm going to move this now. We should have done it earlier. We didn't. That's okay. We're pinning the knight to the queen. 
they'll probably play this and we'll go back keeping the pressure they can then do this if they do that we are happy about that why are we happy about that because they've just weakened the crap out of their king and we like it when our opponents do that yep bring it back look for this ah look how weak their king is now look at that trees branch trees branch with the uh with the rookie moves if you ask me i'm i'm make, thinking maybe this they're gonna try and trap trap our bishop with their weak king position but we can play all sorts of things so they're hitting this doesn't matter uh can play that take oh it takes no this takes 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 that trade works for us so let's just check that develop our knight takes 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 and we end up up material we end up up material for sure do we want to move this though do we want to move this no we'd rather lose our knight if they don't take that's cool we've got more pressure on them and we're developing and there's tension and our opponent will be feeling that tension i'm sure this also probably is a move that this or this one of these two i think i probably should have played um just because it stops this although if they play here we can play up so that's fine we don't need to rush uh this looks like a fork this looks like a fork guys no it's not because of the queen damn i thought i was so clever didn't i i thought you know hit this forking forking these two pieces i was wrong i got excited prematurely that's okay uh this hits this but they can play that they can play that so it doesn't really work and um, we don't want to do this because we don't want that so this is now looking down here which uh means we can't defend this way but we can do this can't we that way takes 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 and we we're up material that was a bit what i meant is takes 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 and we trade a pawn and a rook for a rook and a knight and our queen ends up in a, a better position in one of these these middle four squares and these middle four squares in chess apparently are the most important four squares so we like that we like that a lot i like my knight here too i can see some difficult situations for my opponent um, as we progress where this knight puts a lot of pressure on things all right we will go for this trade we are happy with that we're up uh with that trade they can hit me here and i defend with both of these pieces so that's not a not a concern it does pin my knight to my queen but we can just move the queen there's a check here that we should keep our eyes on and um this is also a check which is quite an interesting check actually um so this is hitting us there this is an interesting check because uh bishop can't take if queen takes we win a queen so then king will move king will probably move down or across there or across there and then we can move seems like a risky there's a lot going on with that one so i don't think we're going to risk it because i just there's there's too many variables there could be a checkmate in there but there's too many variables and so we're going to keep it simple um what are we going to do this is obviously being threatened so we'll just take this free pawn as our next step yeah there was definitely i think there was a mate uh using this and this maybe but uh probably an opportunity to win a queen if i was if i was better if i was maybe a 1500 i would have just seen it like that maybe some of you guys saw it it's all good so same thing maybe we can add pressure but this pawn unfortunately so we can't uh it's being hit
We could step back, but I kind of like this because when we move this, this is then lining up with the king, adding more pressure. I'm thinking, oh, so there's check here, uh, which is unprotected, so that's not a good, not a good idea. Check. I think it's time we go for this check. We can hopefully at least win a pawn out of this. Uh, so there's check. Um, there's this, which blocks these squares. And then where's the check though? Oh, this is so tricky. Okay, this one's a pawn. So I'm just going to go check and then take back here. Assuming that they take with the queen. Yep. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I mean, we end up, we, we end up a pawn, up, 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 pawn, and we get the queens off the board, which, you know, that's all right. I mean, we probably could have used the queens for some kind of check mate sequence if we were better, but we're not, and so we're going to fork this bishop and this rook instead, I think is what we're going to do. Before we do that, let's think about this. This is being hit by... Um, a bunch of things but I don't think that matters because we have plenty of material to protect so we will fork a basic tactic I mentioned at the start that I had been learning basic tactics there you go guys we now have basic tactics that we can use um, to a more consistent level because if you've seen the earlier episodes we missed a lot we missed a lot of the basic tactics so I can't take uh, because of this of course but that's fine. I think they've found a, a way to protect themselves from this fork and instead just end up with a bishop trade. Now I can go here with a check and then that won't work. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do? What else can we do? Check, takes, doesn't work. As I said, that weakens our king. We don't like that. This threatens this, and then takes, and then takes. But it's just a, it's just a rook trade. It doesn't really get us anywhere. Oh, golly. What is the move? Random pawn move, I think. Um, actually, no, escape square. Just because we don't know how this is going to play out, so we want an escape square. Uh, when we get this out... We want to make sure there's no uh, back rank checkmate risk. Again, I'm trying to I'm trying to just not make any major mistakes. This now allows me to check my opponent, which I will do, and then. Well, what will I do after that? It would have been good if this pawn wasn't there because we could win this. There's another check which also hits this check they can take it back unfortunately but it does take some pressure off which we like because this is a this is kind of scary um are there any better moves are there any additional checks no i think we take this is going to come across uh unfortunately i've just realized that this is a, a skewer or a pin or something and they resigned i have two minutes I have two minutes on the clock, guys. My opponent has five. Trees Branch resigned. Um, we won nine points from that. I don't think Trees Branch should have resigned because they, I think, were about to win. No, they weren't going to win a bishop because I pushed this pawn. And uh, they weren't going to win a bishop. But but I was I was a little worried because I was thinking we move and, you know, take and we move and take. And, but no, this pawn, this pawn protects us. There's also this uh, protected by the bishop. Then they come down here, then we push here, and you know, they're just, they're in a bit of trouble. They are, they're in a lot of trouble, to be fair. They're down six points of material, and um, and our bishops will just go to town. However, two minutes. At this level, I could have flagged easily. I might not have been able to convert that, and according to chess.com, we made four blunders. If you, um, I don't have premium, it's expensive. Uh, and I've used my review, but if you if you could see any of those blunders, 
hit them in the post them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's play a second game. Let's go. New 10 minute. New 10 minute. All right. White again. Same strategy. Oh, were we playing black? Game aborted. Game aborted. Okay. What do we do? New 10 minute. This is the problem with being at this level, is I can't even remember what color I played with last game. We're playing a fellow New Zealander. Teo, Teo, 6677. Um, same opening. Next comes the Knights, then the Bishops, then we get castled. Nice and simple. We're going to play it with white or black at the moment. It's pretty robust. It's pretty easy to remember. And we'll only really adjust it if they try to do some kind of scholar's mate or some kind of weird thing like that um it at least gives us something we know is reasonably solid so can we play here is the next question no it's well yeah we could ask that now take 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 so we can play there and we will to seize the center we'll pre-move our take back uh we'll pre-move this take back and we're just winning at that point right like a little bit i mean it's not a huge advantage but we're We've got, uh, you know, we've traded the same material, but we're just, we're owning the center a bit, uh, a bit better than my, my opponent. Unless they know some fancy tricks. We can't take that because their bishop will hit us. We can't go here. We could just step back. Uh, step back one, no, because we don't want to block this. Could step back to here. I think I like that. It uh, continues to double protect this pawn. Continues to hit the center, which we're trying to protect. Um, so if I take, and they take, and we take, and they take, it'll be up. So we don't want to do that. If they take, and we take, and they take, and we take, we'll be good. So let's leave the tension there. Uh, let's... There's a check here. Let's do that. Let's play that check. They can't do that. Uh, they can block with this, they can block with this, which will be undevelopment. They can bring the king out, which obviously will be very bad for them. They don't have many good options. Uh, they can they can do that too, of course. We can go back. Um, this is actually protected by this, so, you know, there's lots of options here. I don't think we take. Um, I don't think we take. Putting this here was a mistake, looking at it now, because... Well, not a big mistake, but, you know, it wasn't ideal. We want to get this out. Um, so, I I want to I wanna get this queen. I'm going to get it here. I'm going to put it here. Or do I put it here and preempt uh, some kind of attack up here after they castle? You know what? I'm going to castle first. We take here if they take. But we're just going to keep the pressure for now. Take. That's fine. Oh, we we were there. We could have taken. So we forgot about that. So that was a bit of a mistake. Can't go here now. Can go here. Can also go here. Get our, our knight back in the center. I quite like that. No, we can't. What am I talking about? I just missed this pawn. There's a freaking pawn there, dude. What am I thinking? Whew! What am I thinking? So if I go here, let's do that. I'm feeling some kind of uh, attack on this side later in the game. Got to be careful of time. We've used a bit too much time thinking about these things. They have now got an advantage. One piece. This is a check. But what does it achieve? Not sure it achieves much, to be honest. We can pin this to the queen in response to this threat. But then what if they take? So let's just move this uh, back here. Not try to do anything too fancy. And now we're probably slightly behind in the position. We have castled though, and their king is still in the open. Um, their pawns are pretty disjointed, but we just don't have very good development. Threatening this. Well, they're threatening this. 
Um, this is now hanging though. Uh, and this looks like a fork to me. So we will play it. They've also blocked their queen. They can hit this, but that's fine. Um, and we're obviously threatening that with a check. They're going to move this, most likely. We can't take the knight, unfortunately, because of the queen. But we can just slide back to not here, and not, not here, not here. Um, we can go check here. Which we will do. I don't think we're going to get trapped there. Are we going to get trapped there? No, we're not going to get trapped. Uh, we can slide back this way. The king can't come here. Do we trade? Yeah, let's simplify. Let's simplify, guys. Let's do the trade. My queen was up in their business, so maybe, maybe that was the wrong move. But I just feel like um, we're up a pawn. And we're in a pretty strong position. I've got another check right here if I want to play it. But again, it's sort of like, what does it achieve? There's also a check. No, there's not. There's not a check. This pins the knight to the bishop. So we'll play that. We'll make an escape square for our king. We'll get our rooks to the center. We'll push our, we'll develop our knight. Um, and we'll continue. I'm going to leave this, this pin, of course. Going to create an escape square. I'm going to bring this in. This also is good. Uh, take, take. Hitting this again. Uh, they're adding some defense here. This looks like uh, no, it's not defended. It's going to say a fork, but it's not defended. Um, Oh, mouse slip, guys. I was going to put it back here, and then I was going to pull this across. The reason I like to pull this across is because it's hitting this, and then we pull this, and we've got these two middle uh, files. Files? Is that what they're called? Um, any, anyway. It's not the end of the world. Unfortunately, we'll just, we're will just we just going to have to admit our mistake. All right, it was there. And move it now. Now what we can do is take, 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 and we win another pawn. They're hitting this now. That's a check. That's a check. Probably play this. Win another pawn. Yep. Pre-move that recapture. We're up two piece, top two points of material now. We've got to get another win on the board, guys. We got it. Did we? Yes, we won. Oh, for a second, I even forgot if we won the first game. Brain is not functioning right now for some reason. We'll line up the rooks. This is not concerning me. Because the king will take back. The benefit of having prawns in front of your king. What What was that? I guess uh, they protect. So take back and then take and then take. So that's not good for us. Um... That doesn't work. Want to hit this. That protects it. This hits it. Um, but it's kind of like then they just move it out the way. Alright. We're up. Let's do some some uh, pawn moves. Here, here, here. Just open things up a bit. Take toward the center. Push another random pawn, I think. Toward the center. I'm gonna hunt this one down, I think. Maybe that was a mistake. Um, it's fine, but it's just uh, so there's check here. It's just uh, this is protected by this. So we just got to be careful. We can't do that because of this. This pawn, um, check. We've just got to be careful with what we do. Stop this for now. But now our, our rooks aren't doubled. Um, you know, we're not going to make that mistake. How do we play this? I'm not actually sure. 
I'm going to thread in this. King can't come here or here. Got to watch time. Our, our opponent, uh, we've got a winning position against our opponent, but we have quite a lot less time. And it'll be easy to accidentally lose this one if we're not careful. What can we play? There's got to be some clever moves here, guys. There's got to be. I'm going to advance my pawns. And um, we're probably going to bring our king. Because we're now in an endgame. And the king is going to become really helpful. Their king is already in the center. We will... We're always looking for forks, looking for checks. I'm gonna go back here, then I can get this behind here and we can start to push this up. I wanna advance these points. Oh, well, let's get the king in. Actually, let's focus on getting the king in. We'll trade, that's fine, we're happy to do that um, because we're up material. It also allows us to uh, hit this with some more confidence. Um, obviously there's this, which is annoying, but if I slide here, uh, takes, and then, you know, it all works out. Um, so takes, 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 and we are up a pawn. We remove the threat. They're going to take this pawn. We don't really care. Pre-move the recapture. We've got these three pawns. We're not worried. We are not at all worried, team. The only thing we are worried about is our time. We're worried about our time. And I think it's wise to be worried about our time. What happened there, guys? I was expecting a recapture. Nope, okay. Didn't want to trade the rooks. Fair enough. There's a check here. But then they take that. Uh, let's protect... Well, let's think about what are they trying to do here. Boom. Protected by this. We go up. It's totally fine. Um, but let's protect that pawn, let's move our king, let's move these, these pawns, let's make a queen, and let's, let's win. Uh, takes, 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 well they don't really care about that, that's completely fine to be honest. That is completely fine. Uh, we should have thought about that, that wasn't very smart. That was not very smart at all. Because now we're going to lose this pawn as well. Damn, guys. That was a rookie move. That was a real rookie move. But we've still got this past pawn. We've still got this past pawn. We've got our king to walk with it. Um, damn. Okay. Alright, time. Damn, guys. Got to move real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. That's the motto, yo, whatever, however that song goes. Um, we'll offer a trade here. They've got this pawn as well. We've got to keep an eye on. Um, oh, why did I? That was a blunder. That was a blunder! No! Check. Check. And then move, and then we win this rook. Alright, that's good. That's good, guys. We can now ladder mate them if we do not lose on time. Ah, uh, we need to not lose on time. Shoot. Let's win this pawn. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come here, and then here. What we're trying to do is get a ladder going. So, oh, I can't retake that. That was a, oh, I blundered that, guys. I freaking blundered that, and then they blundered because they got so freaking excited about pushing this pawn to make a queen that they blundered. Woo! My gosh.
We blundered, guys. We almost threw it away. We got a minute on the clock. We almost threw it away. Whoo, that was stressful. That was stressful, guys. We came away with both wins, but damn, we weren't playing our best chess today, I don't think. We weren't playing our best chess. Look, let's look at that again. So, I move, they move there. I'm like, okay, you gotta protect this pawn. Yep, we're good, we'll leave that rook. And then I'm like, we need to, we need to advance. Uh, and somehow sort of get our, get our king up, right? And get our, check them, so they go this way. Pull this, somehow get this across, pull it down. And sort of do a ladder mate in the upward direction with our two rooks. Because I was low on time and... I don't know, that's all I could think of as, as the fastest way to go about this. But, what did we do? We moved here. Thinking, if they take, we take back. Like, kind of like you would with a normal piece. But, there's a king there. And that just, that just doesn't make any sense. You can't take back. If they had taken me, um, we would have taken... And it would have been an end game. I don't know what happens when you have a rook and a king. But anyway, you let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. It, I guess it would have been a draw though. Or maybe I just would have flagged. But they didn't see it. They got too excited. They pushed this pawn, as you can see. They pushed the pawn. And we had takes. Which we did. And then they resigned. But we take. They have to go up. We go here, and then it is a it is a pretty quick ladder, mate. And we win. That was stressful, guys. Chess.com says we made 10 freaking blunders in that game. That's terrible. I swear to you, I've been playing a few games where, you know, there, there are only a couple blunders when we get right through to the end game. So, um, I think I'm improving, but I've clearly got a long, long way to go. All right, guys, we're on our way to 800, then nine, then a thousand. When we get to a thousand, it's going to be epic. And then we just have to double. Easy as that. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys. Like I said at the start, I'm really excited to get to a thousand subs. We're only on like 55 right now. So if you haven't subbed, hit that sub. Really appreciate it. And see you for episode nine. Get out of here.